Jones, and here's the Brighton team. Yesterday, they finally gave up the fight to get Jerry Ryan fit. He's replaced in the midfield by 20-year-old Gary Howlett, who will be making only his fourth first-team appearance. It means that Gordon Smith moves out of the midfield to an attacking position alongside Michael Robinson. Well, Sheffield Wednesday have also had injury problems, and this morning, after a fierce training stint on Hampstead Heath, it was decided that skipper Mike Lyons would be fit to play. He's been troubled by a groin injury. Pat Hurd is the left back with the Yugoslav international Ante Mirocevic coming into the midfield, his first game since January. Someday then, for young Gary Howlett, and I think that just about a year ago, he was being told by Coventry City with a number of other youngsters that he could no longer be retained. What a game of ups and downs football is. Here he is now in his first cup tie, and it's in the FA Cup semi-final. Wednesday's Mike Lyons has already played in two semi-finals for Everton and he lost on both occasions. What bigger incentive now could there be for him? The referee is George Courtney of Spennymore in County Durham. And it's Brighton in a change strip of all yellow who get the game underway, attacking the goal to our right, kicking into a bit of a breeze. Pat Hurd getting it away for Sheffield Wednesday in the blue and white stripes, Mirocevic. Beautiful day for watching, but a pitch that has been pretty well watered, but it will be a little bit bobbly. The nerves will be fully stretched, and it's always an emotional afternoon more than anything else. A tense afternoon, and in fact it got away to a very dramatic start for Sheffield Wednesday. They actually left two of their players behind at the team's hotel after lunch by mistake. They got here and realised that David Mills was missing, and so too was the number three, Pat Hurd. They arrived later by taxi, and I can tell you by the look of them, none too pleased about it all. Smith. And Grealish. Trying to work this ball so often down the right side. They've worked an awful lot this week with Neil Smiley banging in his crosses. This time it's Stevens hitting one in, but Smith getting behind it quite comfortably. Pierce. Grealish, a little flick there for Howlett, Robinson, Howlett again, and shoved in the back by Mills, it gives Brighton the free kick. So three in the wall, and Case, great driver of the ball, tremendous! He scored in the last three cup ties for Brighton, but they don't come much better or much more important than that. Rifle there, swerving as you can see, off the crossbar and into the back of the Wednesday net. Jimmy Case, the scorer for Brighton. Smiley with the throw for Brighton. They really must be buoyant now. And a corner now for Brighton. New territory this for them. They, until this season, had never been past the fifth round. What a blow. Case again. And it was Stevens who got the header in. Case again. Across that goal. Mills looking for support. There wasn't much available. In the end, it was Smiley who got it back. And now Mixon, and he was looking up and wanted too long, and in the end, Mills, with his experience, just nicked it back to the keeper. And Jack Chilton, fairly phlegmatic, and the centre Morris Setters, who both of them know enough about cut football to know there's a long, long way to go yet. See a smile amidst all the tension. Lyons, it's a difficult afternoon for him facing Michael Robinson. He hasn't trained at all this week, Lyons, because of that groin injury.
Mosley's throw out to Hallett. Ooh, that may be a mistake. But it might be answered, or it may not be. And Bannister thought he was held back there by Foster. And the referee, I must say, looked straight to the linesman to see whether there was an infringement in his eyes. And the linesman said no. But it was a mistake by young Gary Howlett in the first place, and suddenly it looked as though Bannister might be free. And there he is claiming that Foster held him. Case beaten by Shelton, who loves to break from the midfield and has done so now and has fed the ball to McCulloch. Miracevic coming in, it might come for Bannister, and uh, that was goal bound until it hit Gary Stevens and went behind for the Wednesday corner. And you can see Mike Lyon saying, come on, let's get on with this corner. Gary Bannister with it for Sheffield Wednesday. Closed in there, and again Foster gets up. Miracevic turns it back again. McCulloch's right in there too. Mills is there too. And somehow Brighton with Gordon Smith on the ball at the moment get it away. That was really a worrying moment, though, for the South Coast side. Referee looking at both linesmen to see whether they agree that the 45 minutes is up. And indeed it is, and Brighton go in with a priceless first-half lead. The goal coming from that free kick where Jimmy Case hammered the ball against the Wednesday crossbar and into the back of the net. start the second half. Wednesday now will be facing a stiff breeze. They've won the cup three times. The last time was away back in 1935, although they were finalists in 1966. And a free kick to Sheffield Wednesday. Imagine there have been a few words of wisdom flying around the Wednesday dressing room at half time. And it's now with Milicevic. And Mosley comes out to collect. Stevens now for Brighton. Just kept in by Smith. Mills. Shelton did well and found Mixon. Sterling going up outside him. And Pierce, very calm indeed, finding Grealish. And just as calm finds Howlett. Bit of space ahead of the youngster now. That's soon cleared up, but the referee allows the game to go quite rightly. And he tries something from a long way out, and it was worth the try. A long way out for Gary Howlett. And now Bannister. It was a good long run, and it provides now a very interesting free kick for Sheffield Wednesday, some four or five yards outside the Brighton area, and it's just right of centre. It's the sort of area where you'd tremble if Jimmy Case were stepping up. And there are two, four, six in the wall. Is this the moment for Wednesday to strike back? Play for Miracevic, and Smith didn't get it. It was a little too elaborate, and there wasn't enough time. And the whistle's gone again, presumably for a handball by Graham Pierce. And another free kick for Sheffield Wednesday. in the game towards McCulloch and mostly down bravely but not bravely enough and Miracevic well Brighton were caught there it looked for a moment as though Mosley must get it but it was just nicked away the deflection then came towards Miracevic it was he who finished it off to make it 
Someone was claiming a handball. But Miracevic went on after Mosley was beaten. The deflection was a cruel one for Brighton. And it fell for the Yugoslav. And now it's quite a different cup tie. Flick on there by Lyons, or rather by McCulloch. And uh, Shelton getting in. Bannister. Third. Bannister. It's an interesting bit of play, and there could be trouble now, McCulloch. Oh, my goodness, Foster somehow kept it out. And so too did the keeper, Mosley, when that must have been the most agonising moment you could imagine. It looked as though Foster had no chance of getting that out, that McCulloch's downward header was going to bounce gently into the net. But somehow, Foster made it. A good cross in by Bannister, and they were all over the place. There was the downward header, and there was Foster's clearance. Grealish, little touch for Smith, a touch this time for Case. Touched on again for Gordon Smith, now can he get into a shooting position here? Good save by Boulder, but Smith is there, and Robinson is there! 2-1! season for Michael Robinson and Smith made a great run good save there by Bold we just held it up a moment but Wednesday are now in trouble Smith finds Robinson who finds the net off the defender Jimmy Melia has he got that magic touch again he's telling the substitute Kieran Reagan to go and do a bit of warming up yes away all week because as he told me the other day I'm a natural born warrior and the fear of defeat is so great now Miracevic can Wednesday do it again Mills in a bit of space with a bit of freedom Foster at his heels and a corner Wednesday's tenth corner to Brighton's fourth Tenth corner of the match coming up then for Sheffield Wednesday. Big man a forward again. McCulloch's header. Oh, great save there. Tremendous save by Mosley from Mike Lyons. McCulloch doing good work in the air. The Wednesday skipper was in. Mosley's save was absolutely brilliant. Well, Lyons is okay. He's already twice been on the losing side in the semi-final. He doesn't want it to happen a third time. Well, Foster got above him there at the near post. Case getting it away to the relief of Brighton. That's seven minutes to go. A few watches are being scanned around this ground at the moment. Shelton, Case was stilling on that ball a little too long. The foul was by Howlett. Free kick to Wednesday. Lyons has gone clambering forward again to see what he can get. Here he is. Three successive losing semi-finals would be such a cruel footballing blow and he wants to do something about it McCulloch is up there as well Foster too oh a miscue there by Stevens, and it could put him in trouble then the old head of Jimmy Case and what a good ball away can Robinson get after this one he's got Mark Smith to hold off still with Robinson he's caught it well across the face of the goal and just one free kick Free kick to Sheffield Wednesday, Sterling, a Sheffield boy to take it. Mills getting it in there, Stevens somehow getting it away. 
Oh, and a great save there by Mosley again. That's from Pat Hurd. And that's two tremendous saves the Brighton keeper has made. First from Lyons and then from Hurd when it looked as though it might dip just beyond him and just beneath the bar. So, pressure again on Brighton these last minutes. And again, Mosley gathers well at the highest point. Robinson from Greenish's pass. Smith. Smiley. There are two or three waiting in the middle. If he can get a good cross in, and it's not a bad one. Mike Robinson's on the end of it. And David Mills for Sheffield Wednesday. Gary Shelton. Miracevic. And now Stevens. Shelton. We're in the time added on now. There'll be a little of it. And they've got to use it well. And maybe they will. Just over that crossbar from Gary Bannister. Came steaming in there so late. It's a sad moment for them, and it shows. I don't think they'll try a short goal kick. I think Mosley's first thought will be to hammer that ball away. In goes Case. Can't let Sheffield Wednesday get the initiative now. Sterling gets it back, but Boulder's going to hit a long one. And there's the final whistle. Brighton, for the first time in their history at Wembley, Jimmy Melia runs onto the pitch to look for Foster and Gatting. Joined now by the manager, Jimmy Melia. What a moment for him and for Steve Foster. Yes, what a day for Jimmy Melia, who really couldn't hide his delight on the final whistle. That's Michael Robinson there, former Manchester City, who scored the winning goal. There's Jimmy, the ball-headed figure right in the middle, hugging Jimmy Case, who got the first goal, the, the former Liverpool player. Jimmy's celebration seems becoming something of a ritual now, the way he runs about and hugs just about every one of his players.